What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode review of Survivor, you guys. We are on season 46, episode six, cancel Christmas. <laughs> uh, cancel. Cancel it all. I was like, okay, cute. That's what we know. We cancel mm -hmm. Christmas. You got serious this episode. He got real mm -hmm. serious. Almost so in a way to where I ain't gonna lie, Q, Q, Q's my boy. I'm root for Q. But he kind of was getting a little bit cocky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit cocky, like when he was talking about Venus. And, and we'll get we'll, we'll get to that. But he was being mm -hmm. a little bit cocky, just a little bit. But all in all, this episode was good. This was finally the merge. It was yes. much so needed. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Still, Nami does not know what it feels like to go to a tribal council. So they coming in here literally green when it comes to this whole thing. But all in all, this episode was good. I was not expecting the end that happened, but let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, so let's see. Let's pick up with Siga. Okay, Siga's fresh off of the Gemma vote. Mariah was completely blindsided, and now she's <laughs> under the realization that she's at the bottom of the tribe, which she basically thought she was up there with Charlie's angel. You know, her... Her it was a Mariah, Gemma, Maria, and then Charlie or whatnot. That's right. She thought she was up there with them, but lo and behold, you at the bottom of the tribe. And then not only that, you're on the wrong side of the boat. You didn't get blindsided, but then again, you did get blindsided in a way which is just as dangerous because it's like, how am I not up next? Why do you think they didn't tell Mariah? I don't know. Maybe it's because she couldn't jump. <laughs> I'm still not over that shit. I'm no, still I, not over that. I have no idea. And I watch, shout out to Rob has a podcast. I think I've mentioned him plenty of times before because he does the survivor recap, like literally right after he's done, he does the recaps and he does the interview, the exit interviews with the people that got voted off. And so he did a, um, um, I mean, if you've seen the episode by now, you do know that Mariah was the one that got voted off. And she clearly said that, no, that was a for real thing that her friends talked to her before <laughs> she even went on there. She practiced jumping and she just couldn't get it down. I still to this, I came, I, I can't wrap my head around how somebody. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't I know. I don't get it. And 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 it's true. You see it, but I just still don't understand that. Like, what do you do if you? How do you jump over a puddle? Like, how do you do? You leap? Do you? I still don't get that. And I'm smart. I don't. I don't consider myself to be a genius, but goddamn it, I'm smart. And I just still can't wrap my head around how you can't goddamn jump. But anyway, um. <laughs> Yanu got their first good night's sleep. Yes, they, they got their flint. Yes. Got them some nice comfort. I'm so happy for them. So, 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 so happy for them. And then um, both Siga and Yanu end up getting a message. You know, they see a boat that comes up and they like, oh, hell no. What the hell is this? What's going on? And of course, this merge. <laughs> what we've been waiting on anyway, because this is when the game really it takes off. Out now, like drop your buffs is all I've been waiting for. When you drop your buffs, That's all of them is clean is Tabla Raza, clean slate. Shit gets real. So of course, there everybody is going to Nami's tribe. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. guessing because Nami ain't had no losses. Nami's got the just big, sitting pretty, sitting yes, pretty over there. fortress. They got a nice fortress compared to Siga and, and Yanu. Nice. So I know if I was uh seeing y'all, y'all better have it set up real pretty for a queen, okay? Y'all been sitting pretty over there <laughs> for these last eleven days, winning everything bitch. left and right. Y'all better have a safari futon up in that bitch, all all nice up in there. <laughs> Hunter, so, <laughs> Hunter. Speaking of Hunter, Hunter is super excited because he was waiting on this <laughs> drop your buff. We're getting ready to go to try. I mean to emerge because now he has the go to go and find the next clue to the beware advantage, right? That's so as right. soon as he, you know, they get that that note, he has to hurry up and find it before the other two tribes get there. So he goes, you know, taking off, looking like he's looking for it. And, and of course, you got <laughs> Venus ass lurking around. That bitch ain't going nowhere. Venus but wait, what, before we get into that, didn't he try to make it, was it him that tried to make it seem like, oh, I'm skipping, I'm having fun? Yeah, he was like, <laughs> 
<laughs> that nigga went running out that bitch. <laughs> I say you go, Hunter. He went and he played so that off real, silly. real good. Oh and God. then when he does find the other clue, he got to go. It's these watching Survivor and them going on these scavenger hunt. The shit gives me anxiety. It does. I, I get myself, too anxious. Like, yeah. what's happening I next? Granted, we only see it happen like that fast, so I know mm-hmm. they get a little bit more time. But when Hunter was on them damn stairs and he's trying to find that clue, and then you got goddamn Soda and Venus going uh, back and forth behind me, <laughs> yes. that would have pissed me off altogether right there. I'd have been like, I'm gonna need you bitches to shut up because I got some shit going on right here that I'm trying to get right, <laughs> and you're making me nervous now. I can't goddamn do this. I can't do this, but. Um and and the I don't even get why Soda and Venus were going back and forth. I don't either. Any dog on way. I like think Venus the boredom, asked, the boredom of a winning team. There's just something to nitpick like last week when Tevin was thinking about getting rid of Soda, or was that two episodes ago? Like, it's I think yeah. it's just a, a um you know something about the boredom when you're winning everything and you got all the reward challenges and you're fed what else are you supposed to do what else can you do you ain't got shit else to do but go back and forth with each other mm-hmm. but luckily for hunter he ends up finding um the key good for him now um well before we get into whatever this is also something very interesting mm-hmm. because now that the merge is happening this is now going to complete nami's Full experience of Survivor because yes. they've yet to go to um, uh, tr- a tribal. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely interested to see how they start because for Venus, for sure, this was this was this is just what she wanted. She wasn't mm-hmm. really fitting in or getting along mm-hmm. with the folks on her tribe as it was. So she needed some fresh meat to come in <laughs> to sort of give her a fighting opportunity with this. And then now you got Mariah as well. Mariah now realizing um, her she as well is on the bottom in her tribe. So this is like a breath of fresh air for her as well. What I did not like though, is if you know you're on the bottom, I get not wanting to go in guns a blazing too hard, you know, trying to start alliances and stuff. But she definitely screwed herself for not speaking up. And basically letting Tim set the tone that, listen, we're going to tell everybody that we was all on the same page. Yeah, We're going to do this. Like, she screwed herself with that. You already saw that they left your ass on the bottom of the vote. What would make you think that you're not expendable now that they're an even bigger group? Yeah, they just want your vote. They don't want you. They just want your vote. Mm -hmm. And then how can you... But then again, Mariah, bless her heart. How can they not see... Tim is not playing a smart game. He is not, not whatsoever. He just keeps going back and forth. And like when the the when the merge happens and they're all talking to each other, the Tim, Q, and Hunter mm-hmm. all were talking again from where from where they left off from the journey. And Tim rem, uh, reminded Q that his number one was Maria. Yeah. And then I think Q was talking to Maria, and Maria d- just found this out. <laughs> that Maria didn't know a goddamn one. thing about that. She, she, like, oh. He hadn't even talked to Maria about the plan whatsoever. He's only been making connections with the with the men. So how? I still don't know. Yeah. No, he keeps going back and forth with people. Mm-hmm. He's almost confusing his game up, mm-hmm. which I would see like, okay, that's a good person to start throwing the name out for if I was not somebody like Tim. <laughs> I was anybody yeah. but Tim. Well, this is this is what I was thinking. How many days was it since y'all went on that journey to the merge? Because how many days did you have to not mention something to Maria about it? Like and then on top of that, you claim, well, I wanted her to get to know them first before she made that. Ju- no, nigga, you need to get to know her first before she make that judgment, because she didn't even know that you had her set up in a damn alliance. News to her. Like, why? Why would you? I did. I did not get that. And then it's just your- very rookie moves. It like is. everybody keeps saying that they're a super fan, and I just keep saying no. 
She ain't no smooth. diva. No, oh, none of them. She none of them. No diva, Tiffany. No. Tiffany's the only diva. She's still looking good. She's the only one that looks better after 13 days. She oh, does. I'm like, damn, bitch. What are you? What have you been? Are you out there making your own sea moss in the jungle, bitch? Because you got it going on to okay. Got her mask going. Okay, she know. got her own thing going. Tim wants to say. Sega strong. Okay, he wants to say Lisa always strong. Always, I get that. But again, at the same time, you got to have some sort of flexibility to make your game fit. Because right, because um, it just doesn't make sense if you get down to that six like that alliance was trying to say, and it's every man for himself. Right. And also, too, Sega wasn't throwing out names. <clears throat> no, and that's how they screwed themselves too. Just like it, and it reminds me of the traders. Not to get off subject, mm -hmm, but it reminds mm -hmm. me of the traders. That's how the traders get found out. That's how your game get. If you don't yeah. offer anything, what do what what do I need you for? And how can I trust you if you're not? How can I trust? All you? I know is you're going to be strong, deep with your tribe. If, if I'm throwing out a name or two, and I already sacrificed at least two of my members and numbers. For you because you want to make a deal and then you're just going to shut your mouth i'm going to vote mm -hmm. for your tribe i'm mm -hmm. sorry because that's was, not how that works exactly mm -hmm. and i was with venus when she did the basically a name for a name i who, agreed who, yes who, I, I was with her on that okay so who was the, the weak folks in your line you let me know and then i'll let you know one of mine but if you're not throwing shit out why would I even want to make a deal with you? Because why are you coming with me exactly because why are you why are we talking if you're just going to waste my time that part and so you do have tevin who i seen politicking with with q and tiffany listen y'all need to go ahead and make the cookout a 2.0 yes the cookout 2 please let that be that is the alliance those three right, right there and then every there. person for themselves right That's there. final three i could see that happening ancestors Yemaya, Oshun, Oyo, come on now. Ashe, 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 Come on, let Tiffany Q and um, Tiff Q and Tevin make yes. it down. TTQ, okay, let them make it on mm -hmm. down to the final three from there. Now, um, let me see. Okay, we already got to that part where Tevin tells um, Q and Tiff not to trust Venus. Now, again, I don't know why Tim didn't mention anything to Maria about the plus one, because like you said, when Q goes to talk to Maria about it, Maria is completely blindsided. And Maria even says in her confessional, I don't know why Tim would put me as my, he wouldn't be my number one. He'd probably be maybe my number three. Bitch, yes. number three. You're not even one or two. Three. That says a whole lot without saying a whole lot. I'm I'm damn sorry. I don't even know who Maria's number two is. Well, I know Tim. Ali's number one. Well, it ain't goddamn Tim. <laughs> I and it and it ain't Gemma. No, it's not. Because she no. quickly put them two votes on or Gemma, Mariah so for that month. For Mariah? that month, I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know. But Tim's not even two. Jesus, no, and we can't like, figure damn. out who two is. Tim, you read the room. The bitch. Um, I will say Venus was was definitely hustling hard, going around politics, doing the best. Make, yes. yes, really I'm taking advantage doing. of all that time because you really do like as soon, like you we said, the time. game start. You don't because before you know it, you're at an, an individual immunity. Yep. So you got to make that time now. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what I was saying I didn't like about Q is when it comes, because ultimately the, the vote comes down to or the, the names that are put out there are Mariah and Venus. Now, Venus tries to back dough and throw out Charlie's name just because she didn't want to get rid of another male. She wanted to keep a female strong. You going and you saying that? To folks that you're not even like that with just yet, and it ends up getting back to the men. To men. Yes, yes, yes. Rookie you move even, again. Another you rookie mean, move. You ain't even really gotten good and got a good feel of, of 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 the females that you're telling this to. And so when it gets back to Q, when Q says, 
how do you think if I'm telling you what way to vote and you don't want to go, you think you're going to blow up my game and you don't vote the way I say vote and you can just cancel Christmas. That was real sort of cocky <laughs> for me. Cancel like, Christmas. You my yep. whole cue. Like we, we here, you know, we, me and my twin and then we here. But at the same time, mm, I ain't really like that. But I mean, I will give it to him for it only being three, was it three, five, and five? Yanu yes. really got the power right now. They, they could do. go either way. They could mm-hmm. go with Nami and be an extra so three They are the swing or, votes. Those they literally that's how the, got all the power. Mm-hmm. All the doggone mm-hmm. power. And they deserve it. It's about damn time. It is. It really is. It's finally time to see the other uh, tribes struggle. Instead of sitting pretty, yeah, they they it's 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 lo- especially Nami, especially mm-hmm. Nami. Mm-hmm. This is now, really the first episode we finally mm-hmm. get to see them start straggling with with voting and understanding that. Mm-hmm. Very very good. <laughs> so we get to the challenge, right? And even it's, though there's a lot of shit going on, yes. <laughs> now even though they're they're technically merged, they don't have like buffs just yet, basically. So they had to draw rocks. Half the team gets one color, half the other team gets the other color, and then there's one person that's left with the gray rock. They get to decide which team they want to go with. Whether whoever wins, you win with them. Whoever loses, you lose, you lose with them. Tiff was left with the gray rock. I thought it was very interesting how the rock draw ended up where it was all the men on one team and then Kenzie, and then all the women on the other team, and then you have Charlie. Mm-hmm. Tip seen that, and I was right there with Tip. Uh, Tip, like I love my girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl power, but the I'm gonna go I'm with out. males. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the patriarchy on this one. I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go with, for what I know. But I will <laughs> say this: <laughs> they did give the patriarchy a fight. Yes, it all paid off for him. Because they all the men did up, you know, end up winning. And luckily for Tiff, like you say, it, it paid off for her as well. It was a good ass challenge. It though. was a great matchup. It was good. Great matchup. Literally. They had to go through this mud oh, pit the and then uh, put stuff on a wagon. And then after the wagon, they had to do something else and lift everybody on top of something. On pla- yeah, on a plastic boulder to get up. On, I mean, not the plastic, on a big ass round boulder mm-hmm. and they had to get all that and all that soda love up there i was like yes, 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 they did. yes. yeah yeah i was so did. excited <laughs> she was the last <laughs> to go oh, i jumped down a net i would have i would have messed up my no, neck child, the way i would have angled and just landed and then climb I up just, and then end with the puzzle mm-hmm. i'd have laid there for the rest of the damn challenge in that damn net <laughs> <laughs> Hanging upside down with my motherfucking foot. I couldn't have gone nowhere. No, I'd have broke my knee. Ha- I would have hated it if like my hair got caught on like the rope material or something. Because that's the luck I get. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm telling you, I, I, my foot would be caught up in the net, and I would be hanging upside down, titties in my neck, and I'd choke the hell out of me. That would be my <laughs> my, my motherfucking luck. But it, like I said, it was a good ass challenge. The men end up winning from there. But so, so close were the women yes. that women team behind. It really, the women caught up on the puzzle. Uh-huh. So like it just showed everything. And then Hunter was the last to go on the puzzle. Yeah, but everybody had to work on a section of the puzzle at some point. So and it wasn't again, it just was, on anybody. It was basically yeah, on everybody. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, again, it was quite poetic justice how you already had Q and Kenzie on the team. And yes, then Tiff chose and the them. Thing. And so mm-hmm. they all three won again. I was yeah. happy with them for that. Because, again, they deserved it. They have had a rough, rough, rough start. So yeah. I was happy for them when it came to that. So now we are fresh off the challenge. You've got... This half of the team that won. Now, the rest of the team who didn't win, those are the ones that are up for elimination. You can't vote for the other team because they are the winners and they're going on their first merge feast. They get to go on. Now, that's what I thought was fucked up. Why we got to be on the same beach with them and they over there chewing down? How come not everybody got the merge meal? (laughs) 
That's, That's tradition. What I thought was messed up. I thought yeah. was a standard. Uh, they were like, nope. <laughs> I mean, even if okay, let us all have the meal, but we still don't know. You know, we still are at risk for being voted off. But you're not gonna feed me, and I'm probably gonna get voted off. Damn. Okay, probesy, probably said I ain't got time for this shit. I ain't got time for you. Gonna do what you do. But this was the perfect opportunity for the winning tribe, which is basically all the men plus Tiff and Kenzie, to sort of strategize and and see who they and were going to put up what, for we, we were, This is what I was talking about, about them, Asiga not releasing them. This is part of the conversation yeah. where they even said, mm -hmm. well, somebody said, well, let's throw a name out. Let's go down the row. Everybody throw a name out on the potential of who could be your weak player. And then no. Tim, dumbass, gonna say, well, didn't say again. He wasn't giving up anything, and so finally, basically, his back was up against the wall because I believe it was Q that asked, "Well, who would you say is the smartest player on your team?" Then, which I appreciate them asking that because, okay, you don't want to put out there who you think your weakest person or who you wanna who you would want to vote off That's is. What it okay, was. well then I'm gonna ask you this: Who do you think is the smartest player on your team? And then here comes Tim. Well, if I have to say, uh, Mariah. Bam, that's all we needed. Mariah, we're going to vote her ass out. Q already didn't like her when she came and had a conversation with him. And Q was asking her, who do you think is your favorite player? Now, Q said Jeremy. Now, again, I was watching it because Mariah said Aubrey was her favorite player. And then Q's wheels got to turn. Oh, Aubrey was manipulative and she was setting people up. So we got to get, you know, we got to get rid of She's her. She's dangerous. She's that's dangerous, right. dangerous, mm -hmm. which I get. But, I mean, from a, from a viewer standpoint, Mariah... And no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Mariah really ain't got no damn strategy her damn self. She's like the least person. Mm -mm. If anything, I would have got rid of Tim. I agree. I would have got yeah. rid of Tim. Because he would have messed up my game plan. Yes. Like he would have gotten something confused or wrong or something. Just, I would not. Like I still don't fully trust him. I don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's not a solid player for me. No. Tim would have been my Over first. Over Mariah? Over, yep. Tim would have been my first. And then Maria would have been the second one that I would have thought to vote out because Maria is silent, strong, but fucking dead. Yes, don't yes. sleep on Maria because no, she don't come and get Please don't that ever. Ass. Yes, but Tim, I'm sorry, and you know I'm here for my brothers, but Tim, mm 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 mm, you got to go ahead and get this one on up, Tim. No, I, he's I, just I, not. He's not making the right plays to help his yeah. own game. He's not even speaking up. No, and so then. Um, you know, like I said, Tim finally does something right. He throws Mariah's name out there. And so, again, Mariah, I, I felt like once you got wind of it possibly being you, that's when you should have been out there politicking, letting all the other folks on the other tribes know, hey, look, they set me up. I was blindsided as well. Mm -hmm, so whatever mm -hmm. way you want me to vote, I'm going to vote with you. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a stack. If I were on there and I was in Mariah's spot, and you know it's down to you and Venus, oh, I'm throwing sorry, her under the I'm bat bus. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm punt kicking that bitch up under the bus. Are you serious? I am Millie rocking that hoe up under the, the damn bus. Okay, like <laughs> that's what I've been like. Look, you see how she is. You see how she's going around. How she, how she, you, you know, like, she's you like mean. How she, she didn't even, she didn't even welcome y'all back when you came from eating. Okay. You she see how she said, said don't care for y'all. Oh, no, nah, bitch. Uh uh. I'm throwing her mm -hmm. ass right on up under there. Mm -hmm. But then it gets to tribal. And then Mariah opens her play. mouth and you wants to. Know. What, what did Auntie Mama call her? Mariah's Hail Mary. Mariah's mm -hmm. Hail Mary. It's like that was your final. And why wait till now when basically everybody's mind is made up? So nobody has the opportunity to go back and, and have what, a side conversation. I don't think she was really. She, I don't think like her, Venus, and was it Tim? They all, there was three people that connected. And they were trying to make a move there, yeah. but it didn't pan out. It's like no. that was the only time I saw her play a strategy. I so she, her, she just was not in it. She's no. just not built for it. I didn't get it. I thought it was a, a, a really poor move on her end because, again, you say this now when 
they y'all can't go and have no side conversations or nothing no. right now. And then quite honestly, I don't even see them. I see them being too afraid to have a last minute scramble conversation at the trial, like how they normally do. Like whispering like, each other's ears and stuff yes, like that. Yeah. They seem too scared to do this. Like right now, everybody. Well, I, it just still seems stiff and plateau. Like there's yeah. just, just hit the wall. There's like, people are just so afraid to play. This is episode six. You got to start making bigger moves. Like you got to. So who's going to pull bite the bullet and, and and be the meanie? And then not only that, the the vote offs <laughs> need to make sense to me. I like, agree. Just to this day, it still didn't make sense. No, to it me. still doesn't sit well with me either. Banu there is nothing made sense. Made sense. sense. Gemma made sense. Gemma made sense. Even what's his name? Jelinski, Jelinski made all the sense because you could see off the rip. Ah, oh, this thing gonna fuck it up. Nah, we gonna leave him on. I Get really him, can't tell the difference between Jelinski and Tim right now. There's really there's not a whole lot of difference if you think about it because they they both really did not have any good gameplay i don't know tim may come back and surprise us but as of right he now, better because I, I don't know what it is but it's it's it just seems like he still hasn't woken off from mm -hmm. being on the island yeah and like he's still his got his head in the clouds and he's just and, not grounded no like maria's grounded hunter's grounded mm -hmm. tevin's grounded venus is definitely grounded but like tim is not grounded yeah. I don't and know if Ben's even grounded. No. Soda, I don't know if she's grounded. I don't know. And Soda's my girl. I like Soda, but just on a personal level, she always got something. We were talking about this. She always got something to say. She didn't even realize what the hell was going on when Jeff was like, um, team immunity, no more. <laughs> She's like, what? What do you mean? What is that? Huh? How? What is that? And Jeff had to tell her, calm down. And she's like, oh, my bad. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, do your thing. Go ahead. Girl, shut up. And Girl, that, that man just, just, if just admit y'all never saw an episode. Just admit just it. Say it. You didn't finish a season. Just admit it. The only one <laughs> that I feel very confident that is an actual true Survivor fan fanatic is Hunter. Agreed. Maybe Maria in a sprinkle Getting of his woodshop class to make puzzles yeah. for Survivor is super yeah. fan status. <laughs> like I would give it, I would give it to, to the Nami tribe for sure, <laughs> and to Hunter and like I said, maybe a sprinkle of Tevin. But no one else there really gives me. They super know what the hell vibes. they're doing. No. no, no. Even Ben, Ben is my boy. Rock on, but. He's just there to he's there to have a good time. Yeah, you know no, he's there to there soak for up the experience. experience exactly to, to say that I talked about Metallica on a Fiji beach. That's what he's there for. Mm -mm. Well, then it ultimately came down to once again uh, Mariah and Venus. I think Venus maybe got one vote on her, and all the rest of them went to Mariah. Mariah's torch was snuffed. You know what I didn't like? I ain't gonna lie, but I feel her though was that face that smirk that venus was making as mariah was getting voted out she had a oh nasty <laughs> smirk on her face she was sitting up, you could read her face she was like uh-huh yep yep bitch. <laughs> uh-huh got him what is it i got him Fucked around, found out. Fucked around, found Here's out. Mm -hmm. I ain't like that face. I was like, you know what, you bitch, you. I see you. But I see why. I She's see had you. a hard time. Venus yeah. has had a hard time. So she finally made a, a, a game move. Yeah. She coming in hot. And I think she got a strong ass personality. And that's what people don't like. Because people don't know how to handle it. Nothing personality. to do with her age at all. No, She's definitely not no, ditzy by no, any no, means. No, 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 She's no. definitely focused, understand what the fuck's going yes. on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. If she's smart, don't play no vengeful ass game. If you're no. smart, you'll. 
I mean, because you kind of already fucked that up with Q. I was going to say if you're smart, you'll try to get in good with Yanu and, and hold on to them. You might have a good chance of getting in with Kenzie. But then again, I don't really know because I don't trust Kenzie. I'm mm -mm. sorry. Mm -mm. She cool, but I don't trust the half of mm -mm. Watch out, Tiff. You think that's your girl? Watch out. Watch out. Watch that out. Mm -hmm. But at least all of y'all knew have talked about, I don't think anybody's talked about Tiffany. I think with mm -hmm. y'all knew at each one of them have come up to Tiffany to talk about the other yep. one. Yep. So Tiffany is definitely the queen of y'all knew. Yeah. Tiffany's in a good spot. If mm -hmm. you just kind of keep a low profile, like you have been doing, don't stir up no shit. Let everybody <laughs> come to you with the shit. Yes. So in the end, when you do make it to the final three, that's when you can say, oh, well, I was a part of this vote. This is that and the other. I said this, this, this. Kind of like how Sandra did. Sandra was, yeah. she didn't win a single goddamn immunity. She was not good in none of the challenges, but she was good as kind of falling back and letting people bring the bullshit to her. And then she giving little orders like that. Never going up to folks and doing shit like that. Sandra's my dog. I love Sandra. <laughs> she is my her and Sari, which That's Sari right. deserved to win Survivor. I'm sorry, Sari deserved to win Survivor. And the I last agree. season she was on, uh, when she got voted, uh, and she didn't even get voted out. She just didn't have an immunity, and that's why she ended up going home. Oh my gosh, that <sighs> that still sticks with me to this day. But ultimately, like I said, Mariah was the one that ended up getting voted out. Hopefully the next episode that comes on, we get to see a little bit more strategic game. I mean, on. come on. I don't know what it is about this season. Please don't make this another season where it's like finally all the good thing happens in the end. Yeah. Cause like, it's just slow burn. It's a slow it moving one. And I was so excited that the last few reviews I haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm up. Uh, really did ignite something within me. So yeah. episode six did do justice. So well, we are we are seven episodes in. I want some tea. Me. I want to get some good ass tea, some good ass <laughs> gameplay going because right now we're just playing it safe. And it's cute. It's cutesy wootsy. But now we we're merged. Let's get this bitch popping now. Please on Let's and popping. Poppin'. Anything that um I miss, girlfriend, that you want to talk about before we get out of here? Just the fact that I, I'm just happy that people are now seeing everybody and mm -hmm. now the game plan can really start for the merge. Um, and there have been some matchups that I wasn't expecting. Um, I was looking at Tevin and Charlie a little bit different. I was like, wow, yeah. that could be a strong ass alliance right there. Uh -huh. It really could. Um, it really could. Mm hmm. And then if they keep it a low profile, like don't let nobody know that they're in an alliance together. That would be really good. I just want to see who wants to uh, play with Tiffany. I just wanted, oh, I want girl. Tiffany. I I'm just, gonna be, whew, I'm gonna be so mad if they vote Tiffany out. Girl. I just want to see her go far with her single braids and her gorgeous smile and her. Uh, agility girl if she is wins, remarkable no not if when she wins oh my god i'm gonna pass out i'm gonna pass out in the middle of my living room floor and die <laughs> oh, i'll be so happy <laughs> but no that was it i'm just excited for next week not tomorrow. All right. I'm going tomorrow, right? Okay, guys. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our review. Make sure yes! to catch us for the next episode. Hopefully, there'll be some more good gameplay that goes on for episode seven. Y'all already know if it was anything that we missed on this review, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going. And please. we appreciate you guys so much for coming to see us. This has been Survivor Season 46, Episode 6. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good Have night.